and uncles, and good evening moms and dads. Thank you for all the time and energy that you have given to bring the graduates to this stage. This is a wonderful day for celebration, and on behalf of the school, I congratulate our class of 2014. Uh, at this point, I'd like to introduce one of our band members and also the MC of our ceremonies, Mr. David Tomei. Hey, thanks everybody. We're now going to start our ceremony with our first speaker, our Looking Back speech by Zach Green Creek. Good evening and welcome, Board of Education, Dr. O'Brien, teachers, parents, grandparents, friends, and the reason we're all here, the graduating class of 2014. Looking back, we have made many friends and memories and some unforgettable teachers. From the beginning, Westlake was different than other schools. Coming here in kindergarten and starting off in a small school house was just the beginning. We had seen teachers, door holders, and adventure to the big school every day for gym. We then had a kindergarten graduation and moved on to the big school and primary college. We had many memorable years with great teachers. Miss Scopel's fifth, fifth grade, standing up for more reasons than one. We had countless fun times with fun from YMC and Fridays, and having fun swimming, sometimes seeing some quite interesting things. We also had a fantastic time going to Camp Timberley for our first overnight field trip, where we stayed up late, played wolf packing, wolf horses, and we had a lot of exciting times learning new things. Then we had a gym on the best game to make that goal that we still talk about. And we quickly moved on to junior high with new home and teachers and new classes each period. First year, the boys had the gangster Mr. K, and the girls had to organize Miss Swift. Here in junior high, we had many memories of the field trip, pulling the best way in the Civil War and the Civil War. We ate trolley dogs and ice cream. Common and Rock Valley, Michigan, we the trolley around the top. Also had our first opera dance in sixth grade. And now we just had the extraordinary nine parents graduation dance. Plus, we had many inspiring teachers like Mr. Kamei with the sword. Ms. Sorensen, who kept us organized, Ms. King told us many of her funny stories, and Mr. K with his name still slow. <laughs> Looking back, we had many great memories. Going forward with a loved one to achieve greatness in our lives, we'll never forget our roots here at Grass High School. A special thanks to the parents for always being there for us. During this lunch, we forgot, hanging us up from detention and sports, and always being there to support us. Now that we have looked back, it is time to move on. You know our next speaker for our looking forward speech, Alexis Lukas. Welcome to Board of Education, Dr. O'Brien, teachers, parents, friends, and the 2014 graduates. We have been together for such a long time. Some of us have just joined this small group, but we have all grown close. Now, it's time for us 8th graders to pack up all our things and head to a new and bigger school. When we take our first steps into that high school, we might be alone. It will be a lot different walking into high school not knowing anyone compared to walking into Grass Lake knowing everyone and their names. Some of us want to stick together and keep the bond we have with them now forever. Some of us signed up for soccer, basketball, cheerleading, football, and all these other sports and activities to stay together. We actually have three girls in this room that all signed up for Trouble Choir because they didn't want to let their friendship slip away just because of a new school. But we will also meet new people and finally find out what we want to do with our lives, and we will find out who we are. After another four year, years, we will graduate again. It will kind of be like this day, but with a lot more families and a lot more classmates. But we will all be together again, and that's what, that's what's important. 
what's important. What's beyond high school? Who knows? Some of us could be moving across the country. Others could stay right where they are. Danielle could either be a soccer mom or a performer coach. Most likely both. Sierra can get a volleyball scholarship to an amazing college. Then Karen will be running down that football field, making that winning touchdown. When we get older, we'll remember all the great memories we had here. We'll thank Ms. Kingery for teaching half the eighth grade, at half the eighth grade class twice a day and, and teaching us another language. We'll also thank Ms. Sorensen for keeping us organized. I would now like to thank Mr. Cave for putting up with us every day. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> we'll especially thank Mr. Spivak for making algebra a lot easier. Also, a big thank you to all the other teachers who never gave up on us. Now, parents, you're the reason we're in this world. We all thank you for picking us up after school from sports, play practice, and maybe get detention. We love and appreciate everything you do for us. Now, just because we're getting older doesn't mean that on the inside we're still not a kid. I promise you when some of us get older, we will still be watching Finding Nemo and Spongebob. <laughs> Thank you for joining us graduates on this very special night as we look back at all our great memories and think about what the future awaits. Thank you, Good And now our, our next speaker is our uh, returning. She just graduated, made us proud of four years at Antioch High School. It's going to be making us even prouder. She's moving on to Washington and Lee University. Trisha Brown.
Thanks, guys. All right, guys. It's almost time. Hey, before we want to go, I want to thank our band, uh, Mr. Kuhn, our new band teacher, and also all the ringers that came. Thank you, ringers, to help out.
Damien David Simonson. Caitlin Renee Snowman. Austin Danielle Wilson. Mr. Jones, the Board of Education, having met all the requirements set forth by District 36, I now present you the graduating class of 2014. 